The mysteries of Islam fascinate us time and time again. This is no different from the life story of the Prophet. Who was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam? An illiterate desert merchant who one day stumbled upon amazing Arabic rhetoric? Or was he the creation of Allah's greatest light, sent down to earth to pull man out of ignorance and bring them to the purest of truths? I, Ali Burji, am on a journey to discover the real story behind the Prophet, the real story behind our religion, the root, the beginning, the cradle of civilization. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dr. Al-Aziz Ustadi. Um, so we're continuing, um, inshallah, from yeah. where we left. Yeah. And the Holy Prophet was is in the Maharaj, and he gets a commandment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Fatima must marry Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. And from there on? A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa alihi al-Tayyibin 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 al-Tayyibin
Um, a lot of people who were wealthy, a lot of people who were, if you like, the Ashab, the Sahaba used to come, uh, as we mentioned previously in previous episodes, that uh, uh, the uh, Sahaba used to come forward mm. and on more than one occasion and uh, asking the, um, uh, for the hands of Fatima Zara in marriage and uh, the Prophet used to reject them. And <coughs> until they started if you like, making complaints, complaining mm -hmm. that, why are you doing <coughs> this to us? Uh, especially those who were rich, they said, we are very rich, mm -hmm. uh, we can we have all this wealth. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said very important thing, which is the issue of the marriage of Hatun al-Zahra is not in my hand. That's very important. It is in the hands of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. Which usually, is not, it's not usual, usually. Us usually, um, <coughs> we have like the wilaya of the father over the the children <coughs> and in case of marriage for example when uh, uh, the girl wants to marry the the father uh, should give the permission for marriage so uh, except in the case of Adam Zahra it is Allah who should give her marriage, the ma permission for marriage even the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa according to this hadith um, says I don't have the wilaya for that um, it's not in my hand and it's in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and look at this I am awaiting instructions divine instructions in this respect of course when he was saying this years before in the Mi'raj he had heard um, what Allah has said to him he had of the good tidings of the information of the date uh, of the um, uh, news that uh, uh, I have uh, destined <coughs> that Fatima Zahra <coughs> marry Imam Ali alayhi salam, but he was saying that I'm awaiting instructions. So basically, he awaiting instructions from Allah via Jibrail alayhi salam to descend on him and reveal, instruct him to uh, uh, carry out the marriage, which of course he hadn't received at that okay. time. So from what well, what we've uh, you've um, shared with us now, basically, we have a number of people approaching the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. We're not saying that every single one of them who came for the Holy Prophet had an agenda or something in mind to marry the Holy, um, the Holy Prophet's uh, daughter, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Some of them may came with uh, pure intentions. They just, you know, would, anyone naturally would be interested to marry the daughter of the most important, uh, most person, most important person, sorry, of that time, which was the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Of all time. Of all time, oh, my apologies, of all time, yeah? Uh, <clears throat> so, indication that this marriage was so important that the Holy Prophet was unable to choose a spouse for his daughter. This came direct from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, um, what's next? Moving well, on? he was able to choose, but um, uh, Allah has said that he wants... Uh, he gives the instruction as to who, who she marries. It was a number. Course, it was a command. It was a, yeah, mm. a command that he will. He, he, she, she is to marry Imam Ali alayhi salam. Which means and, that they were created for one another. Yes, and uh, <coughs> um, as I said, there, there were people who used to come and boast about their wealth, and this um, uh, ultimately uh, the 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 prophet wasn't very pleased that they, sh they showing off with their wealth and so on. Mm. Uh, these are not the values that the Prophet ﷺ was looking for. Of course, he, as I said, a apart from the fact that he, he saw the merits and uh, 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 virtues of Imam Ali salam and he considered him to be the best uh, candidate for marriage for Fatima Zahra salam but uh, specifically he's awaiting instructions uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, anyway, when one of the people who came forward and sort of boasts about his, his wealth and so on, it is said that <clears throat> he grabbed hold of uh, some pebbles and stones from the ground and, uh, and then he threw them and they turned into uh, jewels. SubhanAllah. Uh, uh, um, you know, diamonds and, and, and what have you. Um, he said, if we want to 
if you talk about uh, wealth, I can create wealth like this, but we're not after that. Uh, so he basically made him, you know, to go quite about, stop mm -hmm. boasting about his, his wealth. Yeah. <clears throat> He, and then the Prophet ﷺ said, have I not said it time and again? So it goes to show that this was happening repeatedly. And the Prophet ﷺ was replying repeatedly that the issue of marriage of Fatima Zahra is not in my hand, it's in the hand of Allah Subhanahu Taala. Uh, but I'd like to concentrate on this, um, spotlight, um, put the light on this when he says, have I not said it to you time and again? Um, so uh, that I'm awaiting instructions. Um, so they gave up. After, as I said, this went on for days or even probably months. Suitors coming forward, making proposal to the Prophet, or at least uh, uh, asking for the um, uh, hands of Fatma Zara for marriage, and the Prophet was re uh, rejecting them. <coughs> When they all gave up, they saw there was no chance. We would be rejected <coughs> by the Prophet and um, and they started saying this because we know who the Prophet Sallallahu keeping Fatima Zahra for. The only person who hasn't gone forward is Ali ibn Abi Talib. Okay. And we think that um, he is keeping Fatima Zara for Ali, uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam. Um, so they they did have they they had pretty well good ideas as to you know whom the Prophet <coughs> um, wish to give his daughter in marriage yeah. uh, to, and it was Ali ibn Abi Talib. They had they were they were um, sure about, about that. <coughs> <coughs> but before I continue with the, with the, with the case of Imam Ali um, when reports used to come to Fatima Zahra السلام, that so and so has uh, approached your father and he wants your hand in marriage um, and then the news was coming in X, Y, Z and so on <coughs> he says uh, glorify uh, and praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who chose my father as, the, uh, as his messenger he says, how comes they, these people want to become what my husband, want to become my husband, whereas they have spent years, they have spent many years being infidels or being polytheists, worshipping idols. <coughs> and whereas my husband should be one who is masum. So Fatma Zahra, Salamullah alayha, she had values for uh, and the value she was, is that she didn't, <coughs> she couldn't accept people who were spent some part or significant part of their lives being w worshiping idols. Uh, she, that this was something which was unacceptable to her, and she made that clear in this statement of hers. Um, so, going back to the case of Imam Ali and the other suitors, uh, they said they came to Imam Ali and said, "Why don't you go forward?" We've all tried, and we've all tried many times. We've all been rejected, and he's been so. The Prophet has been so categoric about uh, the fact that the marriage of Fatima Zara is not uh, in his hands and in the hands of uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So they said to him, "You should go forward." Um, so Imam Ali Al it said that Imam Ali went. He did wudu or he did ghusl, and then he prayed two rak'ah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, he, would, he wore something, it says some appropriate garment and um, he went forward to the house of uh, Um Salama where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was staying and <clears throat> it is said that uh, when he went and knocked on the door uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa knew where he was he said to Um Salama please go and open the door Someone who has, has come, which I'm looking forward to see. And uh, you know, of course, Mr. didn't know who um, he was. And, uh, and he was very eager, the Prophet was very eager that he, she opens the door quickly. And um, 
So she went and, if you like, while she, were, she hadn't wear, she hadn't had hijab, she unlocked the door, but kept the door closed so that she could have she had time to uh, go to the other room, <coughs> which okay, according to this, uh, and the, uh, Imam Ali Ali Salam kept the door, um, if you like, closed to give Imam Salam a time to uh, leave. Uh, and go to the other room and then he was instructed to come in he was allowed to come in so Imam Ali Salam came and sat in front of the Prophet but he was too shy to say anything and he um, said that after a while he couldn't say he couldn't utter a word he got up and left um, and um, he said goodbye to the Prophet and he left and Prophet and knew the man who split the kuffar <laughs> in half could not, could not um, ask uh, Fatima to Zahra Subhanallah. Um, and then he left. So he came the next day and he sat in front of the Prophet. And of course, the Prophet knew what he was, but he, again, he, didn't, he couldn't utter a word. And um, this time also, he got up <coughs> and left. And um, it is said that for the third time, the third day he he came, he asked permission, he sat down in front of the Prophet for a while and couldn't utter a word. Um, and uh, the Prophet this time, um, probably he knew that if he didn't say anything, he did, if the Prophet didn't take any initiative, he, Imam Ali السلام, would not. He said, um, have, do you have a request? What have you come here for? Imam Ali continued to be silent. He couldn't, he was too shy to even answer what his request was. And then Imam, the Prophet Sallallahu said, I suspect that you have come to ask for the hand of Fatima for, for marriage. And yes. if you think about it, they were the closest. They, they had the closest. Their best of relation. They were like brothers. So you would think that for him to go and ask the Holy Prophet Sallallahu would be an easy task mm. because they're already, you know, the brothers, the connection between them is uh, unique. Yeah. But still, you see, Amirul Mu'mineen alayhi salam, so shy, so humble, so mm. pure, mm. subhanAllah, like, um. like always a child, you know? <laughs> subhanAllah. Um, um, That's amazing. Uh, yeah, as you said, uh, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi had um, uh, made bond of brotherhood between the Muslims, the Ansar and Muhajireen, uh, various people, and of course, uh, he kept Imam Ali for himself and he made a brother a bond of brotherhood with Imam Ali between himself and Imam Ali salam. so as you said they were if you like brother and he uh, the Prophet used to refer to Imam Ali Akhi wa waziri, Akhi wa ibn Ammi wa waziri. he is my brother and my cousin and my wazir. and Imam Ali salam also used to refer to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi Akhi wa ibn Ammi he is my brother and he is my cousin so yes, even though he were, they were like, like brothers, but he was too shy to um, utter a word uh, in, in this respect. And it, uh, he couldn't do anything until the Prophet ﷺ initiated uh, this. Mm -hmm. And he said, do you have a request? Even then he didn't. Uh, only he, when he said that, I suspect that you have come here uh, to ask for uh, uh, the hand of Fatma Zara for marriage. It is then that he said yes. Um, so this was um, um, and he started saying that you know talking about his devotion to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi wa and that you, you, you took me from my parents and you uh, gave me uh, food and you fed me and you educated me. You, the upbringing was in your hands of course if you remember uh, in previous episodes, we talked about from uh, experts from Najil Balagha, when Imam Ali alayhi salam uh, said that the Prophet gave me the upbringing every day. He used to raise uh, one of the teaching, one of his ethical teachings, and I used to he instructed me used to follow it, and I used to follow it uh, uh, precisely and exactly the way he instructed me to. Mm. So he's he's recalling this. Um, basically, he's trying to. Built it up. Built up to justify. Yeah. Um, and he said, um, 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 he, he, he welcomed him. him um, and uh, the Prophet 
uh, said to him, uh, yes, I, I agree to the marriage because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has uh, uh, instructed me. Uh, the Prophet uh, uh, Imam Ali salam said, I have come to request the hand of Adma Zahra again. Um, uh, and um, the Prophet replied, um, whenever other suitors used to come uh, for Fatima Zahra, I could see that Fatima Zahra was displeased, was not happy in her face. But uh, I need to uh, go and see go inform her about you and see what she has to say. Um, so that's, that's another thing which we, we need to highlight in the sense that um, um, even then uh, when other suitors used to come, he used to report it to the, to, to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to, to his daughter, to Fatima Zahra. Uh, which is her, her right Islamic yes, as well. And she used to um, turn away or frown or she used to show without saying anything but she used to so uh, reveal her displeasure uh, to the Prophet sallallahu about the particular suitors. So he said I need to go and uh, inform Fatima about you and um, uh, he went uh, and informed her. He went to the next room if you like and informed her. Um, he says that I um, do not know anyone better than Ali, he said to her. Um, and Ali has come uh, asking for your hand in marriage and what do you have to say? And of course you know the merits and qualities of Imam Ali, of Ali, Ali, salam, Ali ibn Abi Talib. Uh, and when I said that to her, Fatima Zahra salam, didn't say anything. But um, she didn't also, she didn't show any displeasure uh, and the frowning <coughs> that she used to show when others used to come forward. And the Prophet said, says, Allahu Akbar, um, that her, her silence shows her acceptance um, of this. SubhanAllah, and this also, this um, action that took place, that her, her silence was a sign of approval. Mm. I don't think we've have it, we have it anywhere else. Yeah. Um, <coughs> when, when the Prophet said that, it was then Fatima Zahra uh, said uh, that all praise uh, uh, and glory is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, um, and um, I am content with whatever Allah and His Messenger um, are content with. So, she, if you like, in this case, uh, Fatima Zahra, she remained silent. She didn't show any displeasure. Um, she showed her content, but she wanted, if you like, a declaration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. And when uh, the Prophet said her silence is uh, her confirmation, her approval, uh, of the, shows her approval for this marriage, it is then that she said, I am content with whatever, whatever Allah and His Messenger are content with. SubhanAllah. The, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi always encouraged uh, that the mahr be a uh, small amount or at least stick to this uh, mahr sunnah. Uh, and it's true that um, these days people ask for extravagant amount. It's been recommended. Uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi recommended that uh, they use this uh, as a sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, mahr sunnah, and it will be barakah. This mahr, which is 500 silver coins, this will be equivalent, if I remember correctly, uh, one and a quarter kilograms of silver. Um, and that will be roughly about four or five hundred dollars. That's the sort of money you can